Welcome back to another video. Um, this second one is taking place on Flipaclip, which is basically just an animation app where you can create your own animations. Today is not an, well, it's, today's not mainly animation based, it's more science based, but this one is trying, is how, is looking into the concept of the fourth dimension. So we already know that we live in the third dimension where objects have three dimensions, obviously. Um, and we also know that there's the second dimension, which we can also perceive because it's one of the lower dimensions. Um, we perceive the second dimension because it has two dimensions and the first dimension, which has one dimension. So I'm, which, we're gonna use all this data to try to um, th th think about what the fourth dimension would be like. So first, right here, we have the the first dimension. So as we see, it's just a straight line and a dot moving from one side to another. So in this, in the in the first dimension, we have two ways to go left and right, and those together create one dimension, which is how the first dimension got its name, because it only has one dimension. It has, well, one dimension is equal to left and right, because one dimension is equal to two directions, which can be gone to. And so, of course, the first dimension would be too thin for us to see, because the first dimension doesn't have any actual like uh it's hard to explain it's like the first dimension is extremely thin so it wouldn't be able to be perceived by us but we already get the concept we know what the first dimension is so we can display it on flip a clip so moving on we have the second dimension which i displayed on this white screen um and it's basically uh it's basically just a blue screen with, here, we have a dot in the middle. So this dot is our entity, just like the other animation, we had a dot entity. And so this one, we'll just turn on the animation. So yeah, this dot, instead of being able to fly just left and right, which is one dimension by itself, this dot can move upwards and downwards. So now the now that there's left and right, which is one dimension, we have up and down, which is the second dimension, which is the second dimension, uh, a second dimension for the the second dimension. So we can perceive the second dimension because it's again below our. It's one of the numbers below the third dimension, which is what we live in. And then this is our view of the second dimension. So of course, these two entities right here, I'm just gonna turn on the animation. Um, just wait. So these two entities right here, these two creatures from the second dimension obviously cannot see each other because they have a wall barricading each other. But, we are able to see this wall not only, but we can also see the thickness of this wall and like the other side of this wall while they can because they are not able to go like uh, forward and backward. And so we are able to see this because again, they're in the second dimension, we're in the third one. And then this is basically the third dimension. It's just a ball in this cube that moves around. Yeah. So this is the third dimension. The third dimension had three dimensions. So we already know that there's left and right, which is one dimension, up and down, which is another. And now we have depth, which would be equal to being able to go forward and backward. And so now we have three dimensions. So this next animation here is 2D, 2D seeing 3D. So there is actually a way for 2D entities to see a 3D world, but it's kind of complicated. And so uh, the, the 2D entities have a way of see, seeing the 3D world 
although it will still be in 2D for them because they're 2D entities and they're only used to being able to see 2D. So of course, those little orange things are its vision. It's like line of vision, it's line of view. And so this is rot so this little pole here that we see that the orange dots are coming out of, the orange dashes, we can see it's like rotating and the orange dashes are going around and then it just gets sucked up back into the ground. So I'm just going to play this animation and you'll see what it looks like. So as we already see, when it, when it, when it ha- so we see right here that it's seeing like directly at this wall right here. And so this is like the little view, like the perspective of the, 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 that, that, the, the pole, the entity. And so since it's looking at the wall right here, the wall is in right in the middle of its view, point of view. Now, this 2D pole, or entity, I, I just keep calling it a pole because it just looks like a pole. Um, oh crap. Um, anyways, I, uh, what was it? I forgot what I was going to say, but, um, so we do, so we do know that the, that this pole entity thing right here is able to, see the third dimension, but it has to, like, it has to still see in 2D, which is what it's used to, and, and so it can never have a perspective of what our third dimension looks like, but that's the only closest way this creature will be able to see our dimension. So now moving on to the fourth dimension. The fourth dimension is... So we already saw this, and then the 2D entity is only able to see 2D. Is it, Well, the 2D creature is still able to see in 3D, or no. Um, the 2D creature is supposed to be seeing in 3D, technically, because it rotates and it changes its view. But for us, if we were in a four-dimensional world it would be a bit different. So in this four dimension in this four dimensional world, let's say that's us right there. Instead of our point of view being 2D, our view would be actually 3D, but rotating would actually change what we see. Because as we know already, we've already said this, as the second dimension rotates, it's able to see the things in front of it but in it, in it appears as if the land is reshaping itself. And for us, that'd be the exact same concept, except our, vi our view of the world wouldn't be 2D, it would be 3D. And so, it, it'd basically be the same as this, but instead of this being 2D, it'd be actually 3D, and whenever you rotate, it looked like the, the land is reforming itself. So in another in another way of saying it, it's basically like um, time is moving. It's hard to explain, but um, remember how I said we are able to see this right here. We are able to see the width of this wall, while they, while these two D creatures are only able to see the front of the wall, but not like inside of it, like how we can see. This is the same for the fourth dimension. The fourth dimension, if a fourth dimension entity was in our dimension, it'd be able to see through walls in a in a way. Cause since we're able to see through this wall, this 2D wall, um, the fourth dimension will be able to see through our walls, our 3D walls. And so it makes sense a bit, doesn't it? So I'm probably going to have to end the video here because I think I've already explained enough about enough about the concept of the 3D and the 40 the the 3D the the third dimension the fourth dimension first and second and so uh hold on 
Um, okay. So, obviously, these are all on my flat 2D screen, and also on your flat 2D screen. I don't know what you're watching this on. Computer, whether it be a computer, TV, a phone, or whatever you're using, an iPad, or tablet, or whatever. Flip phone. I don't, I like one of those old flip phones. I don't know who uses those anymore. Um... That should be it. So, yeah, obviously, the ones that say third dimension or 3D obviously are not in 3D because they are, well, on our flat screen and don't have any actual depth. So, I'm going to go up to my notifications tab and then I'm going to stop this video. Get out of here, weather. Um.